Hi guys, today we're going to have a quick review of the print quality between the Ender 3 Pro over there uh, and the, uh, the Prusa Mini. I recently upgraded my printer and purchased the Prusa Mini Plus, the latest one. Um, it's yeah about maybe uh, three months old. Uh, and I'm recording this in September 2021. Uh, and uh, I actually tried to print the uh, upgrade for it, these uh, fancy little stand legs. And I really liked the way how Prusa works. But when it comes to the print quality, I discovered that they are quite a bit different, even though the settings are quite identical. So first things first, I have sliced these legs on two different slices, slicers and printed on two different printers. Uh, the slicer I used for ND3 Pro was Cura Slicer, Cura, Cura, uh, that one, the latest version. Uh, and the slicer I used for uh, Prusa Mini Plus was uh, Prusa Slicer. Uh, the main difference what I saw is uh, that from ND3 Pro, the, the plastic and the surf all of the surfaces were shiny. They were like really shiny, even though I used the same filament for both cases. Uh, and from the uh, Prusa Mini Plus, the surfaces were very good, very good quality, uh, but they were a bit uh, mate, uh, not, not shiny, you could say. Uh, and I would like to check uh, the structure and the, the print quality under the microscope, which I have over there. Uh, it's a binocular microscope uh, made for these kind of purposes, not the biological one, which I have in another uh, room. Uh, but we're going to check that out and see um, how what the differences are. All right, guys, so what do you think about this? What kind of quality, print quality do you have here? Uh, I can definitely say that I really, really like Prusa Mini Plus uh, and the features it has and the print quality and the way how they designed everything. They will have the first layer adhes adhe adheats, adheats, <laughs> uh, sticks to the, to the printing bed. Uh, it's quite different to the way how um, how uh, Creality does that. Also, I noticed, uh, as you noticed, that the, uh, the adhesion force uh, to the Prusa bed is way lesser than the one on the Creality. Uh, this uh, magnetic uh, bed, I mean, the, 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 the material just sticks there. And I'm using the N3 Pro for almost two years now. Uh, and I never had any problems with adhesion. Um, with, with the Prusa Mini, you, you really have to use a bit of a isopro, uh, IPA, isopro, isopropyl alcohol. I have the bottle just there. So that's what I was trying to read. Um, and I've used it for my Ender 3, maybe just like four or five times over these two years, even though I print quite a lot. Anyways, guys, I really hope to get your comments down below. What do you think about this? Have you experienced something similar? Uh, maybe you would give some recommendations to me how to improve, uh, yeah, the shininess of the surfaces on the Prusa Mini Plus. Uh, yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you like it, hit that like button. Uh, and yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.